guys. Welcome to another episode of Get Swamp. We're doing a lot of work here on the farm today. I'm actually going to go pick up a temporary uh, big tub for the spotted turtles. I want to set them up today outside so they get in indirect sun and everything and it's a lot healthier for them and that way I can throw some crayfish in there and also some minnows for them to eat and all kinds of cool stuff but first things first you got to check out what I did now John come here look what I did now that doesn't sound promising, would you break? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, boy. Let me guess. Root or a rock? Uh, a root and a rock. You couldn't pick one or the other? He had to do both? It was under the sand, and I didn't see him. Oh, and the, crap. The blades caught it, and it bent that. So we, we're going to have to bend that, pound it out, and straighten it and put it back in there. This keeps the dirt level. Right, it smooths it back out yeah. after the tiller furrows it up in those rows. Right. So we definitely have to... That and it's a safety guard too. Yeah, so it doesn't throw stuff everywhere. And it, it makes it nicer. But I did the driveway down there with it this morning. And it's actually, it looks awesome. I was going to say, did you get a lot done before you broke it? A lot. I got one big, huge stretch done. So I don't know... It would be easier to straighten this all the way off. That's what we're going to have to do is pull it off. But how do we pull it off? So if we get this pulled off, I'm basically I'm going to have to beat on that until it's straight enough to slide the, the, the flap off and we pull the rod out the other side. It's not going to be easy. Is it one continuous rod, do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Does that move at all? It, no, it's... It wiggles a little bit, but it's bent on both ends, so it's going to be bound in there. It's going to have to all go out that end, so I'm going to have to get that knocked down enough, straight enough, so that little hook on the end right. will slide through the rail inside. At least the rail is not collapsed. Right. It's just curved a bit. Right. It's just got to curve. If we can get it off there, we can put it on that railroad track and I can and pound it straight straightened yep. it out. And then I can do the gate, but we're going to have to find something to put the gate inside the gate so as we straighten this it doesn't collapse that tunnel inside the channel. Well, you've got a rod in there right now. Right now. So we can put the rod back in and then straight. How are you going to put a straight rod oh. in, in a crooked? Oh, boy. We'll figure it out. But I, let me think on that a bit. It's going to take a little little doing. I'm not, I mean, I have some metal working skills. You saw that with the cages. Yeah. But. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just Captain Tear It Up. Right. And you're good at your job. That's right. I take pride in that job. Oh, no. We'll make it work. I'll get it. We're off to get turtle stuff, right? That's why I brought the old yep. truck? Yep. All Let's right. go get the turtle tub. I'll work on putting that, setting that up and getting it together. And then we'll go from there. Let's run to Tractor Supply. You got the truck. We can fit the turtle tub in. All right. All right. We got to run by the house, I think. I got to grab my uh, stuff. All right, John, off to Tractor Supply. Let's get that big Rubbermaid stock tank, 300 gallon. I figure I'll build an island in the middle out of rocks, fill up the sides. And- Are you gonna grab stuff for them to feed on today too, or I'll we'll just set it get up? It, yeah, set it up and I'll grab stuff out of the grow out. All the minnows there. And so sorry for the noise today, guys. I got the old workhorse. We're hauling stuff, so. Oh, and the bumpy driveway. Well, this old four-wheel drive girl lacks, you know. Shocks. <laughs> well, it's got work, work truck suspension, so. Oh. We don't have enough weight in here to smooth anything out. Yeah. But when I get on it, you'll hear the difference. It's a little louder than my other trucks. A little? <laughs> a little. Oh yeah, it's a diesel. Yeah, it's definitely an old diesel. And you can hear that turbo whine. It's got the Cummings tur turbo diesel. Yeah. And then uh, had the bank's power system installed, so she's got some go. 
you hook it up right, she'll take a house off the foundation. Yeah. <laughs> but I figured we were involved with some bigger things today, and who knows what we get into, so. Who, who knows? Bad side about this truck, no AC. Oh, we've got we've AC, got AC. Going. the windows are down. Right? Same AC the van has. I don't know, I like my comfort sometimes. I don't mind the uh, no AC. That don't bother me none. Live down here long enough, you get used to it. Yeah. I'm almost there. I've been on that tractor all morning. Yeah, right up until you broke it. <laughs> this is true. Doug came over early this morning. Showed you how to hook it up. But what were we doing wrong with the hydraulics? The lever underneath the seat. Not underneath the seat, but right there, there's a, a knob that you turn, adjust, and it drops it faster or slower. Holy cow. And it was on the slowest possible yes. setting, so it didn't look like it was moving. Right. So Doug got there, and he goes, listen, make the boot. <laughs> you turn this. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you for buying. He hooked it up. Him and I hooked it up, and he he laughed, and uh, then he got back to the tree farm, back to work. And he just came to check on. Uh, they sprayed the grass for the third bamboo bed area. Nice. So we'll put that in next week. And then. Uh, so what's the uh, what's the time frame on that when they're No, you got it. those won't be ready till probably uh, end of August, September, the first bed. Okay, because I know the ones I just planted in my yard that I had in pots right. are going crazy. Yeah. The only problem I'm having with mine is the water retention in the soil, because I've got a lot of sandy soil. Right. So they have to be water heavy still every day. Ours get, the ones in the pots, get three times a day for seven minutes. I'm talking about 30 minutes per bamboo just to keep them green. Wow. And that's full throttle with a hose, not a... Right. Right. All right. Well, we're getting to tractor supply. We'll see you there. All right. Tractor supply. Why does it feel like we spend a lot of time here? Because we do. All right. Let's go inside and see if we can find this tub. I saw it yesterday. Oh my goodness, no kidding. Dude, it's cold. 50% off. Why? That's a grab on the way out. Yep, we need both those. Hello. Alright, it's down here. Let's see, John. There's the big blue tub like we have. We don't want that one. Those are expensive. There it is. I got one left. And it's 274. Ouch. But but it is what it is. So I do have one that size at my house, but this is probably going to be. You know what? All down. I should have told you to bring that one because that would have worked for. Uh, and it's got the drain on it for cleaning and all that. Yeah. They all do though. Does this one have the drain on there? Yeah, right over here. All right, we need to find a pipe right now in there that we can put. So it holds a water, uh, a Bring. level. Bring that cap. That's what I was thinking. See this tub, it's much bigger. That's only 300 gallons. These are 500 gallons and they're 499.99. Yeah, that's... But that's too big for the spotted. Yeah. I mean, eventually maybe not, but by the time they're big enough for it to be too... 
the right size. We need a bunch like this when we build the croc barn for baby crocs, and then we got the blue ones for the bigger babies. Yeah, and then the nice thing about that, though, is you can run all these lines right to a, a, a drain. Well, I'd like to run them through a pool filter and then re recirc recirculate it all. So you get like one of those sand filters, sand filters I have for um, yeah, like a 22,000 gallon pool. Right. Capacity to run all Hi, buddy. Hi, cutie. You know, capacity to run all <laughs> He's like, uh-uh, you smell like reptiles. All right, so plumbing. Find the plumbing and see if we can get this put together. Okay, I've been meaning to ask. All right, John, let's pull into the yard there and get our tub. So nice. We still got to go to the other hardware store so we can get the pipe. loaded 300 gallons you know what John throw the dog food inside oh. that way it'll put give weight so it won't fly out I didn't just wet the dog food in There, that ain't gonna fly out. That ain't going nowhere. Nope. Just throw 100 pounds in it. All right. Dude, that was cheap for that dog food. Yes, it was. It was 50% off. So it's $15. It only came to $7 per bag. Per bag, yeah. I was Wonder like, if they're not stocking it anymore? Or? No, they are. They better be, because that's what we buy for the rodents. Right. So, but that's why I'm wondering why they're doing a clearance one. All right, let's go to the other hardware store. We gotta get the pipe. Oh, somebody's barbecuing. Right there. Right in front. Tacos, though. Oh. All right, to the other hardware store. All right, let's check this out. So we got the tub up on a stand. That way, possums can't get up in there, or nothing can get up in there, really. And we placed. We as in Robbie didn't lift anything. Yeah, I didn't lift anything. So don't ask. I John, took care of it. John placed it. The rock's in there. I made the drain. Now, I don't know if you can see the drain right there. Speaking I, of these, I didn't even ask you before. Some of these guys are pretty small. Did, did you put a screen I put or anything a, in That's it? what I was just showing them. I put a wire in the inside of that tube so that 
the small ones cannot get through it. Or get stuck. Or get stuck in the tube. So okay. that is taken care of. And you always do the wire on the inside of the tube right there. To keep them from getting any distance in it and not right. being able to back up. Right. And this is why also I told you I, I wanted you to spray the rocks down, but don't clean them off too much because I also had to add some oak leaves to add acidity to the water. So what's the acidity important for? It's for, important for their skin and everything. Okay. You so need the, the pH level. They're not an alkaline based water creature. Like, you know, you have to neutralize fish tanks and stuff. Right, These right. guys are not like that. They're, even some fish like from the Amazon, they prefer pH in their water. That would be because of all the jungle decay yeah. going down decay into the water. That's what they're everything. used to. Okay, that makes sense. So that little bit of dirt and stuff I missed, plus the leaves you added ought to cover that. That we might add a little bit, but I've got a log over there with some uh, resurrection fern on it. That'll also help in here. We'll wedge it in here. And that's decaying the stuff in the water, which helps the acidity. Right, right. So why wedge it in? Wouldn't they like it more as a floating thing to climb on, or is it? Um, I just like it so it sits in there in the rocks, and they can climb up on it and sit on it. And, and it's out of the way if you need to do right. things. Okay. Right, it doesn't float over to the edge or anything. And then the leaves actually give them areas where they can hide. So did you show them the outside of the drain and, and how simple this is? Because oh, yeah, I was that's... fascinated by it. Something oh, I so did. It's so simple, you don't have to even plug this thing. No, you don't. You leave it open so that when it rains, you have an overflow here, and then the water level won't come up over here and the turtles escape. Right. Because so... this will keep the water level at that pipe height. So it has to get above the height of the pipe inside the tank for it to start overflowing right. here. And any extra water comes out the overflow. Right. And that's just on the surface pressure of the water. Exactly. Nice. So it works perfect. Because I remember I was asking you about it before and we didn't get to talk to it because the guy was finding the parts, but I was looking for a valve. Right. You don't need a check valve. You don't want one actually because when it rains, if it gets too high to the tops, your turtles are gone. Right. And then the other side of this, when we have to drain and clean this, you just turn this thing over. Turn it sideways, right. and it empties out. Beautiful. And then See, eventually what, what we'll do is we'll add another one of those in the middle here. So when we hook up, when we get multiple tubs and we line them up through a filter mm -hmm. where we can run the filter through, a pool filter, what we'll do is... Uh, put a drain in the middle for an overflow so if it rains it still drains right and that way but the, all this other stuff will be used for filtration for filtration for system. multiple linking right we'll, mu we'll link multiples that'll be the inlets well this is the last one they had for right now but i was almost died when you showed me this the price tag yeah yeah it's actually it's a big was, piece of molded plastic i know but, but it was duty. cheap for now is it yeah well i've never they never marked theirs up so, and plus, they gave me 10%. They always give me 10% off there. Yeah, that, that's pretty decent. You remember that one I pointed out to you that I said I had for washing big dogs? Yeah. I remember when I bought that, that was 200 Yeah. So, no, I get it, but... We got a great deal on it, that's for sure. It seems like everything, every time you go somewhere, somebody's got to make an entire living off of one sale. It does. It does anymore. And, you know, but nowadays, it's even more expensive. That's all right. They're getting a, a nice little setup, a good home. I called the other tractor supply. They wanted three something for it. I was yeah. like, oh my goodness. And then you see their fittings for things like this? Their shelves were bare. It's because... Because you can't get anything now with so. All right, well, let's uh, point out this log to me so I can get that wedged in there before we get too far. It's just a little log, Light right? I threw it over here. It's got resurrection ferns on it. If I'm trying right to here, work John. against the rising water level, I might... There it is. That one? No, this, this one. one. Ferns. Oh, well, that could go pretty quickly. Yeah, those are resurrection ferns. Mm. 
Yeah, I just shove it down in like that. That way it gives some greenery to it. And so all the algae on the rocks and nothing is nothing to a turtle, right? No. It's actually, it's actually it's good. good. Algae cleans water. Algae sucks up bacteria and stuff. So algae and water is actually very, Nature's very good. Filter. Yeah, it's a filter. And people, it's not pretty, but... I think it looks neat personally, but that's me. You know, that's why we clean out. We only do Elvis's tub once a week because I want there to be some algae in it. Because the algae actually, if he pees in there, the algae uh, neutralizes. neutralizes it. And it so works as a sponge. Literally, we just let this hose run until it starts overflowing on the outside, and then we go get turtles and put them in. Yep. Then we, we have the turtles. need to let the water warm up any for them? No. Groundwater is good. So I know I know some types of fish, you know, the temperature variation, you have to equalize temperatures from what they're not used with, to. Not with the turtles, unless you're going to drop them in freezing water. Right. Hi, Zob. Hi, Juju, my love. Hi, buddy. I bring you chips. Oh, I got the wrong truck. I can't bring you Hi. Chips. Oh, thank you. You, oh. you like you just like the salt. Hi, buddy. Look at her. Look at my hand and getting her head scratched. Yep. Both, best of both worlds. I wish this cage was the bigger wires. Well, you're not going to be in here much longer, buddy. Yeah. We're going to get to your guys's. I you think your guys's will be the first one. Well, no, 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 no. Don't nibble Good. on my scab, you little weirdo. She loves nibbling on scabs. I'm warning you. Uh, yeah, she's after my thumb now. She's trying to pull my thumb back in the cage because I... Uh, I nipped it up a little bit. That's nothing new. Yeah. yeah. Zabu, zabu. Yeah, she went right after licking that. Right after the scar. Here, while we're down here, John, you want to do me a favor? And fresh water? Yeah, give Zabu some fresh, cool oh, water. Oh, water. right on your toes? Warm. Sorry. Yeah. You got to come down. Oh, hi, Zabu. Hi, Jupes. Hi, Jupies. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. You love the neck scratches, huh? Hi, Louie. There's Louie. Louie, Louie. Nice, cool, fresh water, bud. How you doing? As soon as we get their cage built, what we'll do is uh, put him in there first. Jupes, you can't swallow my finger. She's, she she had it all the way down her throat. But she's being gentle. She's not using the No, canines. she wasn't. She's not biting. No, that's the same thing. She was hauling my thumb in there to lick it to death. It's because we're sweaty right, and all the salt. the salt. And Louie wants his butt scratched. And Jupes is going crazy. Come on, Jupes. She let me scratch her belly. Did she? Yeah. Come on, Louie. Come on, buddy. She's like, give me that hand back. Let me lick that. Give me that salt. <laughs> you are one crazy girl. How old is Louie? Louie's, uh... 11, 12. Right around 13 years old. You know, I've noticed it before and never thought to ask because he is got an older looking face. You know, like because he's been fixed. Okay, because you can see uh, aging in human faces. Yeah, and he just looks like he's an older, mature. Yeah, because he's been fixed and he's uh fatter because they don't burn off as much energy. Right. You know, and they're not chasing that. Yeah. Around. Yeah. Well, plus you get rid of the testosterone. You are shedding everywhere, buddy. Yeah, he is. Hi, Jupes. Okay. Okay. Zabu, Zabu. I know. No Pringles today. They're in the other truck, buddy. Yeah. I'll Jupes, you. you are just. She's an attention getter right now, ain't she? She's being sweet. 
She's like, your hands are sweaty. Let me lick that. <laughs> oh, let's go look at the height of the water. It's coming up slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. She's, she's getting ready to go swimming in here. <laughs> Oh, that movie boy. still cracks me up. Oh, I, I love watch that. watch Airplane anytime. I actually have the script for Airplane, The Naked Gun. That's what I have the script for, The Naked Gun. I picked a bad wig to quit amphetamines. Yeah. Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. And don't call me Shirley. So many good one-liners in that movie. It's like Nielsen Caddyshack. Was Caddyshack incredible. was another one. Yeah. Well, you're looking at just iconic actors. Right. You know? And to just see them, you know, some of the... You're talking about people like Leslie Nelson and... Leslie Nielsen. And Nielsen yes, and... Uh, Rodney Dangerfield and... Oh, gosh. All these movies. You know, it just... Could you... Uh, Eddie Murphy, Murphy even back then. How would these guys survive today's world? You know, I was thinking that because... Uh, Even Robin Williams. Right. Especially his lives. He, everybody thought he was so clean cut, and he was when he had to be. But he But was, he had a potty mouth on stage. Oh, yeah. If you ever saw him in a... Uh, a casino or a club. A or, club, one of the uh, nightclubs with the comedy. I saw him uh, in the Bellagio or something in Vegas. I've seen him at the comedy store. I've seen him at... Uh, it was a place on Melrose. I forget the name of that club. I saw Eddie Murphy at Caesar's Palace back in the day. Out there in his red leather jumpsuit looking thing. Raw, Raw tour. That, that, that tour, yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Especially his Mr. T impression. I pity the fool. That and Aunt Bunny. Aunt Bunny. Aunt Bunny. Because Aunt Bunny's a Bigfoot. Uh, Goonie Goo Goo, Gus. <laughs> what the is Goonie Goo Goo? <laughs> I thought I learned some new language. And <laughs> oh, man. I remember being it. Uh, I was. When that came out, I first heard it on a bus driving from an airport to the Pop Warner National Championships of Midget Division in Montgomery City, Alabama. And from the airport to the bus, it was like a four-hour ride. We listened to it a couple of times. <laughs> I bet. Here, I'm going to grab some more leaves. Add a little bit more leaves in there. That's a, that's a little bit. That. And then those will sink down. I'm actually, when we do the uh, filtration on here, I'm going to have to build a, have the pipe come out a little bit, build a cage around that so that leaves and stuff don't get sucked into the filter. And basically, I'm going to do like an undergravel filter like you have on your aquariums, but it'll be a cage around the uh, suction pipe. And that way it's getting water and not debris. That and they can't get sucked in and drowned. Right. Right. And you make the cage big enough so they can't get sucked to the cage. Right. And it drowns them. Oh, this is super cool though. All right, well. Those were the perfect rocks to put in there. They really were. Those rocks look awesome. Let's run up front, John, and get the turtles, and we'll come down here, put them in here, and then... Uh, Let it finish filling up and shut off the water. Yeah. All right, let's, like a plan. let's go get the turtles, guys. So Robbie's gone to get the turtles. It looks like we are full, so when he gets back with them, we'll shut off the water. The overflow should be working, right? Yeah, I just checked it. I was just saying how it's full, and... Uh, oh, you got the little guys with you. Yeah, I got these... I left the little, little ones there. That's perfect water level. Look how they can get on top of that rock now. Jump in the water real quick if anything happens yeah. or if they feel like it. I brought 10 of them down. 
I left the two small. Look at him. Look at him. Look, Take look, him look. right off. He's like, whoa, this is cool. Look at all this space I got. He's doing a lap already. I don't know if they can see him with the glare on the water, but. Came up, took a breath. Checking it out and going for more. That's awesome. And that ridge is at a nice height, so if they're on the edge, they can still get a breath easily. Look at him. Oh, they're going to love this. Whee! <laughs> and he went right into the little tunnel in the rocks. And even in the tunnel in the rocks, they can get up to the surface, so they're not going to get trapped, which is right. very nice. Right. These are actually one of my favorite freshwater turtles. They're so pretty, and they don't get too big. So what is their adult size? Six inches? About a little bit bigger than that. Really? Yeah. So four or five inches, it would yeah. be a huge one. Five inches, six inches, a huge... The biggest one I've ever seen, John, is honestly like that big. Cool. So, and that's a big female. The females get bigger, the males stay smaller. Look at him, he found the rocks. Those two did. Over there on the, on the rocks. And this one did too. That one's coming up the rocks over there. That one's going for the hose. <laughs> <laughs> You hoser. Look at him go, though. Hey, you want to grab this and I'll go shut off the water, or are you going to shut off the water? I'm going to shut off the water. But that's amazing. That just works perfectly, and that level stopped right there. Yep. And it won't get higher. So I learned something new about setting up a habitat for aquatic creatures. When you're going to keep them outside, that's the best way to do it, because rain, everything... And this way it won't overflow. Well, that too. And if it gets a little more debris in it from the trees and stuff, you know, it. Yeah. It. Yeah. We got one down in the. No, he got himself flipped over. He was down in this little tunnel upside down trying to get turned back over. He's trying to find. Trying to find an angle to get angle through. Angle to get through. There he is. They're so cool. Oh, they are awesome. And they're just chilling on the rocks already, peeping their heads out. Swimming around. And look how much room they have compared to that setup in the office that we had to do. I know. I think I'm going to add more leaves in here just to give them more cover. And that way when they come up near the top, their spots blend in with the leaves mm -hmm. and you can't see them. And that way they hide from predators. So... I'm seeing a concern right here. He just pulled his head back, but he's stuck in that bit of moss. Is the moss going to be an issue? No, yeah, he'll pull out of the moss. Okay. He'll get out of it. So, sometimes I don't do things because I worry too much. Yeah. Turtles are very aggressive in the water, like with things. You know, they've got powerful, they got nails, they got powerful legs. That's all I know about turtles for the most part is I like them. <laughs> yeah, right? They're, so, they're super cool. You know what Savannah does, though, when we go to Silver Springs or something like that? Or with them? It's Nataki. She'll put on flippers and a snorkel, and she'll chase them and catch them. Yeah. So we'll add more leaves in there. She'll catch them, try to kiss them, and then she'll let them go. Yeah. Now, I always tell people, you know, with small kids, be careful with turtles because... It's all reptiles can carry salmonella. And salmonella is if you're handling the animal and then you wipe your eye or you wipe your mouth, kids, you know, grab food, shove it in their mouth. Salmonella can be a little pain in the butt because it'll give you diarrhea and could dehydrate you. So you have to be careful. Now, I was I've had salmonella so many times. You're like me, your immunity is pretty high. Yeah, and you're handling fish all the time. I, I was I was actually filming you, and he did something cute, and I tried to catch it, and I couldn't. And he backed out? Backed out, yeah. But he's backing in and out of that crevice right there. And Let's pull that. 
I don't know if you guys can see him on the camera. I should, I see him on the lens, so you should be able to see him, but he just tucks into that crevice and then sticks his head out for a breath of air and goes back in there. So they're already finding their, their places. Yeah, they're finding. And look at these guys, their heads just sticking up. You know, this actually reminds me of that day we were in right behind your house and you had the blue pool full of the baby Cubans. Yeah. That was a fun day too. Just watching them swim all around your legs. Yeah, Except Robbie was bite me. Robbie was sitting in the pool with a probably about a dozen baby Cubans. No, it wasn't Cubans, was it? It was Cayman. Was it the Cayman or the Cubans? I did it with both. Yeah, before. I think it was the Caymans. I've got pictures. Look how they blend in. They're in there with by the leaves, but those spots blend in. I think I'm gonna set a couple more rocks like right up there, just so they have them to. All right, so make sure they're not over five pounds or I'll come get them. You're supposed to say yes, mommy. No, I wouldn't say that. Added up the shells. I'm gonna see this when she's editing. He doesn't get out of the water, but they can. It's a resting spot. So while they're swimming. While they're swimming. Yeah, they've got a good amount of get out of the water for the whole ten of them. So. Yeah. And that's basically what they do. They they really stay in the water, but they'll come up on stuff like that. And they'll come up on stuff and sun for a little while, but then they get right back in the water. So if they spend most of it in the water, you know, I've seen turtles in the wild sunning themselves to dry the algae off their shell and they splash yeah. back in. These guys, not so much. They, these guys live where they're really popular is like areas that flood fields that flood during the summer and spring and then they dry up to smaller areas swampy areas these guys don't like moving water you know big rivers or lakes they like bogs and swamps look at them just looking at me saying get that camera out of here They are cute. And this is a great temporary thing for them till we build the uh, turtle pond in front of the house. Cause I'm gonna put a waterfall on that and everything in an area where they can come up and lay their eggs. They're not big enough to breed yet another probably two years. So you'll give them a place like a, a river bank, an like artificial a, like bank. Like an area probably bigger than this and then but a full. waterfall on it and then it you know so it gradually comes up out and then a dirt bed around the edges so they can come up there and lay their eggs so i imagine at their size and as big as they don't get just uh their eggs are tiny as well yeah oh they're when they're hatchlings well you saw the baby up there that, when yeah. they're hatch they're smaller they're about the size of my index finger nail wow they're puny. So I saw the smallest one that we left in the office. Which is about I, the size of my thumbnail now. Yeah, not even a quarter yet. Yeah. And how old would that one be? That one was born early, early spring. But he's eating like a fiend. Now this guy, what we'll do is we'll grab minnows so mosquitoes don't get in here. They'll chase the mosquito, the minnows, and they'll eat the minnows. But... A lot of minnows will survive, and then we'll always add minnows. And then what I do is catch, they love crayfish, but you have to take the pinchers off the crayfish. Well, at that size, so I would that imagine they, they can do some turtles. damage, yeah. yeah. So the minnows are to keep eating the mosquito larva or mosquitoes. And the turtles will eat the minnows as well. And then plus we feed them the turtle chow. So they get a, a natural and uh, balanced diet from the chow. Yeah. So what kind of things, I mean, obviously predators, but what kinds of things get to these guys in the wild? 
raccoons, possums, uh, stuff like that. Right here, we're safe. We're up off the ground. Raccoons really can't get up to this tub and possums can't. Um, but what I might do is make a top for it that'll keep everything out anyways. And we'll see. We're in and out of here and the radio goes all night. So that keeps the raccoons away from this area. And then the dogs are right over there. They're constantly barking. The raccoons want nothing to do with that. I hear lemurs yelling up front. So you know what we have to do pretty soon that we haven't quite done yet? Huh? Walk the gator marsh and look for nests. Yeah, about another week. Let me turn off this one. Let me add, see if there's another rock. I would say I'm telling Michelle, but she does the editing. <laughs> She's gonna see it, John. I love building stuff with rocks. <laughs> and that gives them an area where they can snorkel. Go up on. And here underwater, they can still stretch their head out. And... So they have a resting pad, a snorkeling pad, and a sunning pad. Yeah. I'm jealous. Right? When do we get ours? Exactly. We need to build a big... When we get cats, we got to build a pool so we can swim with cats. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's fun. I'm looking forward to just the silly things, too, like hollowing out a pumpkin and filling it with, with beef. Well, it's, it's a blast. And watching them play. Yeah. Oh, there's a turtle right there in there. Hidden. There's two of them right there. I'm telling you, they're finding all the nooks and crannies and enjoying themselves. Let me make sure that we need to trap anyone. Yeah, that one's perfect there. Well, that was in before they got in, so that shouldn't have. No, that shouldn't have, but I wanted to make sure these rocks didn't. There we go. So there it is in all this little coolness. I will change the, sh the way that rock sits about a hundred times. <laughs> or until I slap your hand and say it's good. Right? I just love building stuff like that. So now I see another spot I can use a rock. See, this is why I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> I love trying to duplicate nature. And you know so that no 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 that one in your left hand. I'm gonna put it right here. Right here. No, because I'm gonna. All right. So, scoop, scoop. Let me let me have one of the ones in your right hand. You, you're good. I with want that these one. underwater, so That's... it's just like a. Yeah, so they can just climb up on it and sit there and... And not have those big sharp angles on the uh, other ones to get out of the water too. Right. Although they seem to manage pretty well already. I was standing in the wrong place when you added another rock and got my foot peed on. <laughs> by the overflow. It's still flowing out? Well, you just, yeah, a little bit. We still, we just added three more rocks. But look at these guys, they are enjoying it already. And this gives us plenty of layers there. They've got an area they can get into in the middle there. These leaves will waterlog and some of them will sink and it gives them some stuff on the bottom and it adds, like you said, the pH to the water. But there's one right below the camera right now. Right. See, I lost him because he is so camouflaged. He was just right there. So that is cool, too. Let me see. How many do you... One, two, three, four, five, six. I only 
only see six. Seven. See, right there. That's what I was talking about. Look at that little head just in the corner, and that's all you see. Ah, uh, this is... Am I going to have to catch all these and count them? <laughs> just because I placed rocks? Let's do it. Uh, I want to make sure no one's trapped. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, seven. I'm missing three, John. Uh, eight, eight. Yeah, let's get them all back out, put them in the tub, and make a final decision on your rock pile. I, I'm terrible at this stuff. I just always want to build. Eight. That's the problem. Now they're blending nine. in. There's nine. He was on the very bottom. Trying to hide from prying one eyes. One more. Now, we don't want to trap even one of them, so... So hard to see. Got him. Ten. Ten. All right. All right. No one was trapped. So I was correct, but it's better to be sure. I wonder if we can do this a different way. There, that there. I wonder if we can get that to stay there. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Because they can get up on that. But if do I have another rock I can wedge that in? Yes. This is what we mean about Robbie and rocks. <laughs> Switch them out. Okay, they got ledges here, ledges here, ledges here, ledges here, here. They've got a tunnel across the bottom through the middle between all the big ones. They've got tunnels there. they can get out of I can get my whole hand in several places on this side Same under this here. through here and then right here I pulled that one back a little bit so they can go all the way from side to side that's perfect all right that's perfect no wait 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 what are you done putting rocks in yes okay you can put I'm them done right. with lock rocks you got multiple levels you, you, you got up top where they can get out. They sound anxious. You can put them back in now. All right, here, guys, go. Whoop. Right to the rocks. Whoop. Oh, no. Who's calling? Yeah, Zoli. No, that's the lemurs up front screaming. Louie's not yelling down here. Nobody's been yelling down here. All right, go look. 
All right. Love you, bye. That was pretty unceremonious. That was, but it got them all in there. Yeah. If you're satisfied with this, it's time to uh, move on to other things. Yeah, you got to fix the thing on that tractor. Yep. Um, Can't be standing here goofing around with you all day. Dude, I could spend hours just watching the turtles. Oh, so could I, but, you know, maybe not today. I got tractor stuff to fix. Look at look. There's one, two, three right there. Four. They're so awesome. Oh, there's a... Cockroach. Special treat. They'll eat those too. The little bugs that were in the leaves, they'll eat those little bugs. It's all good. This is so exciting. I love these guys. So, all that pretty rock pile and the nice clean water, and now we put all these leaves and moss and logs in it, and it went from looking pretty neat and clean to perfect. Exactly looks more like a bog. All right, let's get out of here. Go back to work. Let me show up that water. Right.